it's their first. Others have experienced deployment before. I was a, a younger, more aggressive, uh, excited <laughs> soldier a long time ago, and and I was excited to do that job, and, and this is a different job, and I'm excited to do this one. Sunday, around 300 soldiers from the Utah National Guard's 204th Maneuver Enhancement Brigade and 217th Brigade Signal Company were deployed to Djibouti, Africa. There's going to be a, a lot of humanitarian support. There's going to be a lot of uh, logistic support. We're going to do a lot of embassy support. My job specific is to uh, kind of travel in the area and work with host nations. For both Master Sergeant Michael Broadhead and Major Mark Haruza, this deployment is their first with wives and kids. I am going to be leaving my lovely wife and my beautiful two-month son uh, behind, so it's, it's a little bittersweet. I'm going to miss my family, <laughs> miss my wife. Uh, there's a lot of crazy, wild emotions. I've cried a lot more than I ever thought that I would. Um, right now I'm feeling really strong because I want him to know that it's okay that we that he goes and that we support him and that we love him. So with a promise from Lieutenant Governor Deidre Henderson. And we stand with as a, an entire state willing to do what we can, our little part, however insignificant it may be here in the state of Utah, while you are doing a much bigger part for us. And final moments together are full of hugs, signs, and goodbye tears. Just my best friend and, you know, the person that I, we do everything together, so I'll miss that. The Army men and women embarked on their next journey to serve our country. I love that he loves his job, and I love that he's working with a unit who supports him, because that makes it a, a whole lot easier to be able to say goodbye. When you have the chance, when you see a service member, tell them thanks. In Salt Lake City, Darian DeBrule, Fox 13 News, Utah.